Let's talk about manifesting our goals through the power of visualization. So the way that visualization has typically been taught is to imagine the thing that you want. I imagine a million dollars in my bank account and then to feel what it's like to have it. Oh, I imagine feeling so abundant and secure and being able to donate to the causes that I want to, to be able to go on vacations, etc. So it's the, it's the inner seeing and the inner feeling of what you want. Now, I really think that kind of teaching can be detrimental. Yes, it can be harmful to actually getting to success. Let me give you some context is that I started my business in 2009 having nobody in my industry knowing who I am and having none of my friends buying my service or product. So I started at zero and within a few, with really within two years, I had a successful business and now, you know, uh, what is it, since 2009, it's like 12 years later, I have had a waiting list of clients for five years now. I have self-published four books. I have uh, created almost 20 online courses. Um, everything I do has had a lot of, um, not everything, but many things. I, I've done many things now with a lot of good reviews and things like that. So I'm just sharing with you that what I'm going to share with you, I think really does work. And I, the clients I've taught it to, they also uh, find that it's very helpful. So instead of using visualization to only see the outcome and to feel the outcome, I recommend that you use visualization to see and feel the process, the process, not the outcome. Because if we only see the outcome and we keep repeating the outcome into ourselves, oh, I, I have this, I have that, it tends to create entitlement within ourselves. Oh, I deserve that. I deserve this. I deserve that. And in my opinion, we don't deserve anything. Whether you believe that God created you or that your parents created you, um, I don't believe we deserve anything. What we deserve is effort. What we, what we deserve is if you're alive today, you deserve to make the effort to make, this, make your life as good as possible for yourself and for everybody that your life touches. I think that's what we deserve. So all we deserve is effort and improving ourselves on that effort. And so, so that's why I visualize my process instead of the outcome. Okay, so let me give you a specific, a couple of specific examples. So instead of someone saying, oh, I visualize having a best-selling book. So let's say you're a writer and you're envisioning a best-selling book. I see so many Amazon reviews and I feel so proud and all that stuff. I imagine holding the book in my hands and all those typical visualization type stuff. Again, it creates entitlement. It, it can even create discouragement when you don't find yourself being able to write. So we're, what's the problem here? The problem is you haven't visualized the process of joyful writing. That's what I visualize. That's how I've been able to write self-published four books, and I'm about to uh, publish a second edition of my first book. It's coming out in, in a couple months, and it's, the process is almost done. So I visualize on a daily basis myself doing what I planned with calm, joyful focus. So, for example, if, I've, if I, my goal is to write a book, then I say, well, what does writing a book entail? Well, that means I have to write this many words today. Uh, this means I have to edit, blah, 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 whatever it may be. I set it on my calendar. Some of you are actually quite resistant to planning yourself on the calendar, and it's because you haven't practiced visualizing Ah, when I do that calendar item, I am doing it with joy. If you can see yourself doing something with joy, why wouldn't you do it? Of course you would do it. You wouldn't have any resistance to doing it if you saw yourself doing it with joy. So whether it's writing or doing Facebook ads or doing some technology or doing bookkeeping or whatever, doing your taxes, I'm just naming the things that a lot of people don't like to do, right? No wonder they don't do it. No wonder they procrastinate because they don't use their powerful minds. Your mind is extremely powerful. You don't use your powerful mind to see yourself doing the taxes with calm, joyful curiosity. Why not? Why couldn't you? 
if you can do something with pain, why couldn't you do something with joy? You know, I mean, literally, it's the, when you do your taxes, for example, it's, no, one is, no one is sticking a knife in you. No, no, one, no one's doing that, right? No one is, right? It's, it's all, you're causing your own mental problems, right? So why couldn't you see yourself and, and feel yourself doing the taxes with calm, joyful curiosity about the, oh, I'm so curious what this number is going to be. Oh, I'm so curious where I find that number. Oh, well, let me take my time. Right to look for that number. If I don't know, I can ask for help. Everything is done with calm, joyful curiosity. If you see yourself doing that, then you're much more likely to do it. If you plan it, you see yourself doing it, you're much more likely to do it. And then when you're doing the task, before I do it, I visualize myself doing it with calm, joyful curiosity. And as I do the task, I notice, ooh, I will catch myself if I am now suddenly in tenseness, if I'm suddenly in fear, I will, or, or for whatever reason, I will catch myself when I'm in a negative state. A lot of you need to practice mindfulness to catch yourself when you're in a negative state when you're working. Catch yourself. Oh, wait, mm, I'm not in calm, joyful curiosity anymore. Let me come back to visualizing myself doing this very moment, this very task with calm, joyful curiosity or replace the words, whatever words you want, and then go ahead and practice doing it. I hope this is helpful. I hope you'll give this a try. Um, my name is George Cow. For those who don't know me, I'm an authentic business coach. I love to help people achieve their business success with calm, joyful curiosity, with a lot of alignment with their deeper values. I hope this is helpful. I look forward to hearing your progress reports and your questions if you have any. Thanks for joining me. Take care.